Vani, you're serious. Are they you retire retired? at That's 50. That's what it's yeah. called, yeah. This is the problem that a lot of people see, Gerardo, including Americans, are different cultures and different societies saying we're going to play by a different rule book than modern capitalism. Can Greece get away with that? I think not, um, and the government knows that. It is just uh, a game in which they know that they have to deliver on their promises in the, during the campaign, but they know at the same time that they got to deliver something with their European uh, partners. So it should come as no surprise what we're seeing right now, just because during the month of June, something has to happen. They have to agree on something, which is clear, some reforms against some money, but then uh, the agreements have to go through our parliaments, both in Greece and in some European countries, and that requires some time. So it, we're getting to crunch time, and that's the driver of the additional activity that we're, uh, we're seeing already. One indication that we're getting closer to crunch time is sort of uh, 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 an increasing signs that people are willing to contemplate the possibility of a Greek exit. You have these leaks from the German government. You have Lagarde refusing to rule it out. How seriously do you take those, or are those just negotiating tactics? Well. I think all incentives are pretty well aligned in favor of a deal. Mm -hmm. People in Greece are very supportive of staying in the Eurozone. So the Greek government is uh, playing with that. Mm -hmm. How to balance getting something that they can deliver, but at the same time stay in the Eurozone. So you see the Germans saying, we're fine with an exit. That's, an, that's a bargaining chip. That's not a plan. Well, uh, I think that the cost of the exit would be significantly higher than people expect, right. and governments know that. Gerardo, so. what's the opportunity here for investors? I mean, the hedge funds are in play. We look at it as sophisticates are in there. For the average person watching or listening, how do they play Eastern Europe, the peripheral nations, and even how do they play Greece? So it's hard to play uh, Greece precisely because when you look at the price action, actually markets are assuming that a deal is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So the price action hasn't been that dramatic. And unfortunately, in past episodes of a, a European a crisis, it has been a relatively hard price action, the one that has been driving authorities uh, to make a deal. That hasn't been the case right now, so it is time uh, what's driving uh, sort of the additional activity that we've seen uh, right now. Uh, Say outside of Greece, there are some interesting spots, especially in Eastern uh, Europe. Still, I mean, rates have come down uh, quite right. significantly, but they're uh, significantly higher in some of these emerging <clears throat> market countries like Poland. I'm loving your recommendation to me 10 years ago on a German stock market down 11% a year in U.S. dollars. Thanks for that, Harada. I, really, <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of risk there in those peripheral equities if you get them right.